Hey everyone, in this video series, we are going to learn about Azure DevOps. This is a foundation course. We are going to cover about the basics of Azure DevOps. We are going to cover how you can actually implement your project on Microsoft Azure DevOps. Well, building and deploying your Azure DevOps pipeline, Azure DevOps board, QA testing, and migrating your existing project to your Azure DevOps. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about who am I? Well, I am Avinash Seth. I'm a consultant and I'm a trainer. I've trained more than 15,000 students and professional in my experience. I'm helping companies manage tech so that they can scale because obviously I have realized one thing, tech is something which is going to actually help the company grow. And finally, I have cloud certification from both Microsoft and AWS. Okay, so first thing first, let's try to understand what Azure DevOps actually is. Well, it enables team to plan, work, and collaborate together with various stakeholders. So you can, it can be related to code development, it could be related to testing, it could be related to deploying the application. So here we are going to actually plan to plan and actually work together in an individual or I should say group of projects. Secondly, it helps developers project managers contributed to work together. So basically what happens when we talk about software development, it, it enables a lot of stakeholders. Now, when we have a lot of stakeholder, it gets very difficult to actually manage that kind of a software. So it helps all of them to actually come together and work together in a sort of a collaborative way. And next, if we talk about it helps organization shift faster because basically what happens when organizations are working obviously i mentioned there are so many stakeholders so what happens we can actually ha uh, have a lot of people involved in the project and get it done together so that it can be shipped faster which is actually got a, quite a bottleneck in various organizations now if we talk about from the official documentation what microsoft is saying microsoft says plan smarter collaborate better and ship faster with set of modern dev tools which, which which basically microsoft is quoting right now and i would say this is one of the most important point shipping faster because this actually helps us ship faster the software because obviously the customers are waiting for those features which we have promised now let's understand the components of azure devops because obviously without understanding the components it is going to get difficult for us to manage things so first of all it has version control where if you talk about any version controller, I should say any DevOps tool, if we talk about Microsoft Azure DevOps, it also has a version control tool because this is the very basic thing of it. I would say that this is the oxygen of Microsoft Azure DevOps. Secondly, it is a project management tool. So like you can actually manage your whole project inside the Azure DevOps. Then maintenance. So like whatever bug fixes are coming, whatever new features you are supposed to release, it can be done through Microsoft Azure DevOps. Then it supports automated builds and releases. And finally, quality and assurance testing. So whatever set of standards you have set inside your company for the product, or I should say the software, you can actually do all of that inside the Azure DevOps environment. Want to make career in DevOps, but you're still wondering what is the right step for you and you don't know how to get started? Well, check our live bootcamp where you will learn about DevOps live with an expert. Okay, so if I have to give a very short summary of Azure DevOps, I would say that is it is a cloud-based solution. And secondly, it is platform independent. So here you are not limited to Microsoft technology. So like, let's say you are not building your application on .NET, you're not using Windows Server. So you're not limited there. You can use Linux, you can use any operating system, you can use uh, Python, you can use PHP, you can use any language, you are not limited to that. If you're using Git to manage your source control, in that case, you can use Microsoft Azure DevOps because that is the very basic foundation of Azure DevOps project. Okay, so if we talk about the Microsoft Azure DevOps responsibilities, who is responsible for that? You are a customer and you're using Azure DevOps. So what are the responsibilities which are supposed to be taken care by Microsoft? So first of all, if we talk about the application hosting, so this Microsoft Azure DevOps application, which is being built, who is going to be actually responsible for hosting that? It is Microsoft. Secondly, who is going to manage the server of Azure DevOps application? Again, that is Microsoft. And finally, who is going to actually manage the application altogether? It is Microsoft only. Well, in summary, if I have to give a very simple example, 
Microsoft Azure DevOps is the best example of software as a service where you go to a service, use it as per the requirement of yours, and then you just come out of it. You don't have to manage the application. You don't have to manage the server. You don't have to actually build the application or the platform on which this application is run. I want to remind one thing. Microsoft is not responsible for application you are building using Azure DevOps. Microsoft is only responsible for applications which Microsoft is building for Azure DevOps. Okay, now there is a fact and the fact is Microsoft Azure DevOps is built and shipped from Microsoft DevOps only. So you can understand that how important it is for Microsoft to make sure that everything is up and running because this is the major selling point for big corporates that should we actually use Microsoft Azure DevOps can we rely on it so the simple answer which Microsoft is like sort of putting their trust that they are building this tool using the tool which they are actually building okay now let's discuss the advantages we get with Azure DevOps so first of all, we get the timely access to the new features. So basically, since this is a cloud based tool, I don't have to go there and upgrade or maybe I should say download new pieces of software for myself to get the new features. So I'm not limited to that. So I get the timely access to new features or I should say new standards, which the industry is now following. Secondly, I get the reliability because obviously this is a tool which is used by major companies. Then if we talk about, we get the flexibility because obviously I'm not limited to a certain platform or I should say certain languages or maybe some certain software which are only supported by this particular application. Then we get the automatic upgrades. So I don't have to go there and install the new updates since it is a cloud-based tool. I don't have to do any, any of that. And if we talk about, it takes less than five minutes to get started. It literally takes five minutes or I should say less than five minutes to get started because it is one simple tool if I may relate it to Azure DevOps. And finally, it is free for first five users. So if you have a small team, if you're a startup, if you're starting your journey and if you think that you should be using Azure DevOps, well, this is one tool you should be start using it because it is free for five users. Well, obviously, if you need further details related to how the pricing is going to work for this particular tool, you can visit this particular URL. Okay, so that is it. Now, what we are going to discuss in the next chapter, we are going to discuss getting started with Azure DevOps. So I hope all your doubts are now clear with this video. But I understand you must be having some questions. In that case, comment section is the right section for you. But if you need some guidance related to your career, which could not be answered in this video, obviously click on the link which is given in the description of this video and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear.